there back at 852. Season 14 of The Apprentice kicked off last night with 16 brand new celebrity contestants and one has already been sent home. Keisha Knight Pulliam was kicked out of the boardroom last night, got into that car, but she has made her way this morning to Studio 1A just like that. Keisha, good morning to you. Nice to have you here. Excuse me. Oh, she's walking in. Well, she looks fabulous. I'll, I'll give her that. She came in last night. She was the first to go. She took a big risk, I would say, on the show last night because she volunteered to be project manager. Unfortunately, that was a risk that didn't exactly pay off. So, Keisha, as you walk in here, good morning. Hello. It good is good morning. to see you. It's a pleasure. Thanks for being here. Have a seat. Yes, I was just talking about your big risk. You decided I'll be the project manager yes. on this first task. I guess it's a nothing get, ventured, nothing gained. Absolutely. You know, at the end of the day, no one really wanted to step up and do it. So I figured, why not? I'm very passionate about my nonprofit, Camp Kizzy, and the opportunity to raise that amount of money for my nonprofit. I was just like, you know, no risk, no reward. Yeah, so what and the task was, it actually had two parts mm -hmm. to it. You had to create a pie that people would yes. want to buy, but then also raise funds. Yes. And it was the fundraising aspect of it that didn't go as well for you. Well, you know, it's a lot that you don't see in the editing process. Like, you know, the amount of time we had to get the checks here, that they had to be in secured funds. There were so many variables that I had checks that simply didn't make it. Um, and if they didn't make it by the end and someone didn't bring it in, then they just didn't count. However, I thought it was interesting that even though I know as a project manager and for me I was looking at the project and the, su the success overall um, there were two people who raised zero dollars and there were two other people who raised less than I did mm -hmm. so I you know I get it at the end of the day I have to be accountable but fair or unfair they the criticism was that you didn't reach out to Bill Cosby of course we all know you mm -hmm. as Rudy Huxtable on the Cosby show all those years back that you didn't reach out to someone you know very well Bill Cosby and ask him for mm -hmm. funds and you know I I thought that was really interesting because it's funny. I know the Cosby show is in reruns and everyone assumes that we're this family that like has dinner every Friday night. But the reality was I hadn't spoken to Mr. Cosby and I felt that it would be kind of tactless, you know, very rude to call someone and be like, hey, so let me have some money right now. Mm -hmm. um, and honestly, with the other checks that I had lined up, I didn't feel that I needed to make that phone call. And the other strange part, Keisha, as you well know, is that, of course, now Mr. Cosby is facing all manner mm -hmm. of allegations. This was taped back in March, Absolutely. this episode, so it didn't come up then. But I mean, you're here. I have to ask you. What do you make of those allegations, people coming out and saying this happened to them, somebody who was such a beloved character for so many years? Well, what I can say is this. I wasn't there. No one was there except for the two people to know exactly what happened. All I can speak to is the man that I know and I love, the fact that he has been such an example, and you can't take away from the great that he has done. You know, the amount, the millions and millions of dollars that he has given back to colleges and education, and just what he did with The Cosby Show and how groundbreaking that was. Were you shocked um, by the allegations? You know, ultimately, they're just that, allegations, and, you know, it's very much been played out in the court of public opinion, but he had, you know, we're still in America where ultimately you're innocent till proven guilty, and, you know, I wasn't there. Mm -hmm. That's just not the man I know, so I can't speak to it. Well, Keisha, good to have you. Great work raising money for Camp Kizzy. And Thank we're back.